I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. Another year and another collection of millionaires singing for their supper as they hope to take home an Oscar, and another opportunity for Bradley Cooper to prove he is the most desperate for an Academy Award man who has ever lived. That being said, for the second year running, they've actually done an okay job of things. Not great, but at least Eddie Redmayne is nowhere near a golden statue, and long may he sink into the depths of a stinking swamp never to return. All of which makes the 6th annual Inframe Out Alternative Oscars a welcome challenge, as I ask, is it possible to create a rounded, worthy list of nominees from the cast-offs and films forgotten by the actual Academy Awards? Can you? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I mean, uh, it's my job, right? The rules, as established by film critic extraordinaire Mark Commode, are as follows. You can only be nominated for an award here if you aren't nominated at the Oscars in that respective category, and ingenuity, originality and artistry supersede popularity, but mass appeal in no way counts against a film. With all that out of the way, let's kickstart the Inframe Out Alternative Oscars of 2024, or as they're more affectionately known, the Innies. Achievement in Sound Jill Purdy and Alex Bullock for Infinity Pool Best Visual Effects Poor Things Best Documentary Feature Still, a Michael J. Fox movie Best Makeup and Hairstyling The Iron Claw Best Costume Design Milena Cananero for Asteroid City Best Production Design Adam Stockhausen for Asteroid City Best Original Score Christopher Bear and Daniel Rossen for Past Lives Best Original Song Sharon Van Etten's Quiet Eyes, from the film Past Lives. And with the more cut and dry categories out of the way, for the remaining categories we'll be listing off all the nominees before announcing a winner. Best Film Editing Barney Pilling for Asteroid City Nathan Orloff for John Wick Chapter 4 Daniel Garber for How to Blow Up a Pipeline Nick Hoy for Barbie and Paul Watts for The Zone of Interest And the winner is... Daniel Garber for How to Blow Up a Pipeline Best Cinematography Robert D. Yauman for Asteroid City Karim Hussein for Infinity Pool Thomas Favell for Return to Soul Greg Fraser and Oren Soffer for The Creator and Lucas Zal for The Zone of Interest And the winner is... Lucas Zal for The Zone of Interest Best International Feature Film Anatomy of a Fall Cairo Conspiracy One Fine Morning Passages Return to Soul And the winner is Return to Soul Best Actor in a Supporting Role Ben Wishaw for Passages 
Fares Fares for Cairo Conspiracy, Holt McCallany for The Iron Claw, Jamie Foxx for They Cloned Tyrone, and Willem Dafoe for Poor Things. And the winner is... Ben Whishaw for Passages. Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Adele Xarkopoulos for Passages. Julianne Moore for May December. Mia Goth for Infinity Pool. Sasha Lane for How to Blow Up a Pipeline. And Teona Paris for They Cloned Tyrone. And the winner is... Julianne Moore for May December. Best Adapted Screenplay Blackberry How to Blow Up a Pipeline Killers of the Flower Moon The Killer and The Night of the Twelfth And the winner is Eric Roth and Martin Scorsese for Killers of the Flower Moon Best Original Screenplay Asteroid City Cairo Conspiracy Passages Return to Seoul And They Cloned Tyrone And the winner is Davy Chow and Claire Mojandre for Return to Seoul Best Actor in a Leading Role Andrew Scott for All of Us Strangers Charles Melton for May December Dominic Sessa for The Holdovers Franz Rakowski for Passages and Leonardo DiCaprio for Killers of the Flower Moon and the winner is Charles Melton for May December Best Actress in a Leading Role Greta Lee for Past Lives Leah Seydoux for One Fine Morning, Margot Robbie for Barbie, Natalie Portman for May December, and Park Ji Min for Return to Seoul. And the winner is Park Ji Min for Return to Seoul. Best Director Daniel Goldhaber for How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Davy Chu for Return to Seoul, Greta Gerwig for Barbie, Ira Sachs for Passages, and Todd Haynes for May December. And the winner is Daniel Goldhaber for How to Blow Up a Pipeline. Best Picture Asteroid City. How to Blow Up a Pipeline The Iron Claw May December Passages Priscilla Return to Seoul and War Pony And the winner is Return to Seoul With that we wind up another Inframe Out Alternative Oscars a hearty congratulations to all those who were nominated or won in any, an award only marginally less meaningful than the real thing. You know, be proud, Mom, because I'm proud of you, and we're here tonight. And it's so good. Thank you. A shout out to our Patreon producers Jennifer C., Claire M.D., Becky O., Kay Kraus, Jennifer Fetish, and Nicholas Le Revere and me flushing Eddie Redmayne's Oscar down the toilet for all these amazing folks who support us over on Patreon. So what glaring snubs did you notice out of this year's Oscar nominees, and who do you hope to win of those who got selected? Check out the comments below for my list of who I'd like to see win, don't forget to do all that like, share, subscribe business, and if you're in a position to do so, consider checking out our Patreon at the link in the description below, where you can get your name in the credits, access to the Inframe Out Film Club, and membership to our private Discord. As always, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is In Frame Out.